Hello. Um, I just filmed the video about my extreme hunger, but I thought I would do a video about how to even start recovery because I saw a comment and I commented on it and it was about a guy that he doesn't really feel ill enough to start recovery and that's just wrong. If you look up recovery videos, you are ill enough. Because otherwise you wouldn't even think about it. I guess a lot more people actually deserve a recovery than we think there are. Because many people struggle with disordered thoughts. Just some people, for some people it doesn't get extreme enough to even consider that they have an eating disorder. So if you are watching this you absolutely deserve recovery and you are ill enough. <laughs> okay, good. Now, how to start recovery? What you have to do is you have to first of all commit to recovery. You have to think, okay, why do I want recovery? And why you want to do it is because you want to have a life that is actually something enjoyable and something that is more than just about your body and your food. You want a life where you can have happiness, um, where you can think freely. <laughs> so you really need to write down your reasons for recovery. And then you have to tell yourself that no matter how scary it gets, you need to commit to recovery. Good. And after that step, you have to immediately start and not prolong it. So you have to start completely cutting out any form of exercise. Also, going on walks. You have to really act like if you're in a quarantine, if that's possible. Um, yeah, just try to really reduce any form of movement. And then you have to start eating. Um, if you don't have extreme hunger yet, you have to just start eating with some guidelines, like the mini-mod guidelines. And that means I, I think it's at least 3,500 calories a day. Of course, depending on um, your journey, like what happened in the past, if you are really, really underweight, then please go and talk to a professional because you are in risk of a refeeding syndrome. But other than that, um, try to really start by setting yourself guidelines and eat three full meals and three full snacks a day. And then at some point, if you really follow along and eat unrestrictedly, so plus with these guidelines and and really eat things that are actually nutrient dense and with nutrient dense I mean calorie dense so really high calorie foods because you want to get in as much energy for your body to heal as possible in the size that you eat um, at some point you will start having extreme hunger and then you just need to follow it. Really, you need to eat anything that you crave and more. Um, and I know it's scary if you really start having so much hunger and you start gaining so much weight, but it is exactly what your body needs. To reassure you, extreme hunger is often around, let's say, six to ten thousand calories a day um and also you will easily gain a few kilos <laughs> i mean let's say 10 kilos per month is easy um so don't be scared don't think that you're gaining too much weight in too little time no you're doing everything right try to really eat as much as possible stop consuming any diet products just that just like coke zero or um 
fat free yogurt or stuff like that stop it <laughs> you said you commit to recovery so what you have to do is really do what scares you most and eat the most non anorexic foods that you can find stop any way of purging so exercise the traditional way of purging stop it yeah, that's how you start recovery and then just go through extreme hunger which means eating a ton you will have um, hyper metabolism in the first few months maybe you wake up sweating you wake up hungry in the night that's normal you can look it all up this is just a video to briefly explain what you need to do um, and then Yes, at some point your extreme hunger, it usually lasts between, I mean it depends on how long you had your eating disorder, but it's between one to six months, I would say usually three months, um, you will have gained a lot of weight, probably more or very surely more than your previous or like pre-ED weight which is usually the overshoot weight, so you will get to a very high point of weight and then your body, if you did everything right in your recovery, so you didn't restrict, didn't exercise, your body realizes that it really, it can trust you again, there is a safe environment with enough resources and then over time when everything is healed, it will let go of the overshoot weight and you will probably get back to a to your set point weight. So that is ED recovery in a nutshell. And yeah, just <laughs> I know it's the most scary thing and it is the thing that for me was the most difficult in my life. Um, but it is so worth it. You will notice after a few weeks how much happier and more relaxed you are so really give it a good shot really a good shot not the quasi recovery thing that a lot of people do and yeah you will see how worth it how much it is worth the worth sorry my english <laughs> okay yeah so i hope that helps